Okay, right now I just worked the weekend. It's 6.50 in the morning. And they started calling at 6.20 with winch outs because of the ice on the road. And I'm um, getting ready to head out. This is typical of when it's icy, you know, people start sliding off the road. Just trying to get the truck unthawed right now and take off. And uh, we'll see where I'm going is there's a two-lane highway, busy highway, and there's no shoulders on this thing. So if I get out there, it's probably going to be, if there's no shoulder or anything like that, I'll have to have flaggers, flares, everything else. You can't just shut down a lane of highway on an icy morning, you know. So we'll see when we get there. So this is probably where it's the most dangerous. It's icy in spots and in other spots it's okay. And people are driving, I'm gonna guess or average around 45 miles an hour on these roads. What they don't know, that I know, is just ahead of me, there's a car off in a ditch because he lost it. And uh, that's what's scary about it. I'm on a two lane road here to where if they do lose control, it could possibly be a head-on collision. And that's what they need to take in consideration, which they don't. People just don't. You know, until it's too late. So, I've been doing this for too many years, I guess. It's just the same old thing. All the time. The same old story. You'll see what I mean. So I drive all the way out here, and what's happened is uh, Lynn County Sheriff got antsy and called a truck out of Corvallis to come out and get these guys before I got here. So I uh, <laughs> got a dry run, and I'm headed back into town. So now I'm headed out to a, guess what, winch out. Slid off the road in the ice. And this time I'm going to the other end of the universe. You know, it couldn't be where I was out in Monroe in that area. It's on Pleasant Hill. So I'm not sure if this is what caused it, but that's the result right there. All right, so here's the setup line to a snatch block. So I'm back at the lot right now. I came back because I'm going to have to 
clean the deck of my truck off and I'm gonna have to also straighten out my wire rope and I got quite a bit of mud on there it's not that much but I want it off there I don't want to be towing cars with all that on so those of you that don't know uh, what I'm doing I basically have this uh, truck right here that I'm hooked on to have the park brake set about halfway so it's gonna put some resistance on it and I'm just going to bring it to me and basically what's gonna happen is my uh, wire rope will spool on itself it's got a tension plate that puts tension on it and brings it on the spool clean I don't know if you can see that but it's going on really nice right now and then uh, I'll show you something else a, uh, a uh, can of this stuff and what it is it's I don't know if you can make that out but it's a wire rope lubricant the cans kind of dirty but uh, this stuff works really good for your line for those of you that are tow truck operators uh, a little bit of this spray on your line will make it a lot work a lot better so make it spool on a lot even, more even so, I've got some bad places in this line too that I need to get in place real pretty quick. And I'll take you down when I do that too. Hope you can hear me. I'm going to wash the deck off anyway so I don't care about the oil getting on the deck. This is like a really short street and I keep towing cars off of it. It's like I've towed everybody on this road, I think. And it just goes from there to that yellow car back there. I'm after the Volkswagen again though, just like always. So apparently the guy was just stuck and right as I pulled up he got himself unstuck so I took me 40 minutes to get over here and lost the call but <laughs> there's more going on around here this is not all of it as you can probably see I'm gonna go over I-5 here I'm on I-105 right now I'm gonna go over this bridge right here and show you what it looks like down on I-5 there's stuff going on everywhere here Look back over here and show you what this direction looks like. I mean, it's really bad this morning. Okay, well, thanks a lot, guys, for riding along with me today in my first vlog. This is the towing vlog that I will be doing, guess what, every day. Every day, I am off, like, uh, tomorrow I'm off, but I will be doing, still shooting a video on those days, and I'll talk a little bit about towing, and, uh, and uh, what you can expect from my channel in the future. I don't take it lightly. I have fun doing this. I have fun on my job. And I have fun 
making videos and oh there's our service truck too some of you may not have seen that before uh, I ended up in that for a little bit of the afternoon and I forgot my camera in this truck so uh, yeah so that's why I, I you missed part of my day but uh, doing some battery work and stuff like that charging system test which we do too so anyway let me flip this thing around here uh, like I said, thanks for riding along, and uh, new vlog tomorrow, and I'm going to talk a little bit about where my channel, where I'm going to have it go, because it's not going to stay like it is. Uh, some of the tutorials I have up and all that are going to go bye-bye, so. But I'll let you know more about that tomorrow. Again, thanks for riding along, and this is Gordy, and I'll, I'll see you in the ditch. Take care. Well, I was headed out here and I saw something on the blackboard. I was hanging my keys up and uh, sometimes somebody will put something on the blackboard here that's interesting. <laughs> this is something that we always hear. Do you want me to put it neutral? <laughs> uh, no, I'll put it neutral when I'm ready. Leave it alone. <laughs> Anybody that's a towing operator knows what we're talking about here. All right, guys, again, thanks. I'm out of here. Later.